Start your game development journey in your mobile with this step-by-step -step course. We'll be creating this amazing game using the Dodge Mobile, in which the player has to dodge some enemies. It seems quite simple, but anyway, you'll learn a lot. This video is just one part of the full course, but you can find the full course in the description down below. Let's start. Now, in this next part, we are gonna be coding our player. In this lesson, we'll add player movement, animation, and set it up to detect collisions. To do so, we need to add some functionality that we can't get from a built-in node, so we'll add a script. In order to do this, we're gonna select our player, click here on this icon, this icon is used to actually create and attach a script to the selected node. Here, uh, we're just gonna click here, create, and this is our script. We're gonna just delete uh, these functions that we just created, both the process and the ready, okay, like this. And now we're gonna create two variables. Firstly, uh, this variable speed will actually control our speed, how fast uh, our player will move. And also we are gonna need another variable um, to store our screen size. Now in our function ready, that you should know that this function is called as soon as we start playing, we're gonna assign our screen size variable to our current viewport rect size. In order to do this, we're gonna write get viewport rect dot size. Now we can use the process function to define what the player will do. Process is called every frame, so we'll use it to update elements of our game, which we expect will change often. For the player, we need to do the following. Firstly, we need to check for the input, then we are gonna move the player in that direction and, and then finally we want to play the appropriate animation. Okay, but here we have a, a problem, let's say, that in most games you move with WASD, but of course if this game is gonna be played on our mobile device, we aren't gonna be able to, to actually move with a keyboard. So, one solution to do that is to uh, create some kind of UI. So, in order to do this, I'm gonna create a new scene. This is gonna be a user interface. Okay, and let's name it a uh, player UI, for example. And also, we have to consider that the player would be able to move in four directions up, down, left, and right which means we should create a total of four buttons. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Of course, you can adapt this simple system uh, to what you want to create. It doesn't really matter, but in my case, I'm just gonna create four buttons, okay? Button, like this, create. Okay, as you can see, I can uh, here modify the size of this button because it is super small. So I'm just gonna resize it a little bit, like this, for example. I should, I think, okay, yeah, right here should be okay. Then by using here the move tool, we can actually move it down a little bit. So I'm gonna move it maybe right here. Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay, then I can duplicate this node. To do this, you're gonna right click it and we should see a menu here. I, I mean, we should hold the, the click, sorry. Okay, we should just hold it outside of the name so that we don't rename it. Okay, yes, that menu is the one that I need. And here, uh, we are just gonna click here, duplicate. Then the second button, I'm gonna move it to the right. Like this. Okay, and I'm even gonna zoom in a little bit. Perfect. Then again, I'm gonna duplicate this second button. So I'm gonna hold uh, the click, the, the touch, I mean. 
right here okay well I'm renaming it so you should be careful with that here again duplicate now this third button we're gonna move it left like this and we need one more button okay and in this case this is gonna be the top button okay like this should be okay so with this button we would move left with this down right and up okay so let's actually rename them properly so this is gonna be our up button then we also have here our um left button here we have a uh, right button and finally we have our our down button okay down button okay like this we are also gonna need to save this scene and finally we're gonna create a another scene in this case our root node is just gonna be an a node a normal node we're gonna save it but firstly let's rename it to main save it as well and then here firstly i'm gonna instantiate my player scene okay so here as you can see i have my player and if for example i do some kind of modification in my player for example i don't know i uh, toggle the, the collision shape as you can see once i save this scene and come back here as you can see the collision shape uh, we can't see it okay so that's called um a scene that you can then modify so then here in our main we also want to instantiate our player ui so as you can see we are just combining a bunch of elements i can see here that our buttons uh, would also need to be a little bit uh, from for here so i will move them but well it will be just a waste of time so what here we will need to do in this case we will need to enable the editable children um, functionality because what we are gonna do is to actually connect the down right left and up button signals to our player script so in this case for example on our up button we have some signals here for example button down button up pressed etc so in this case i'm gonna connect button up to our player okay so for example when here um we press our up button i'm just gonna print here a uh, button up press for example okay like this oh let me correct this okay so and uh, this is actually a button up a uh, up okay because let me explain it we are gonna click here play we're gonna select our main scene as our main one so now when we play remember that uh, we have connected the up signal of the button and the up signal is called when we release the click or the touch from our button so this means that the signal will be called when i release the touch okay so now i'm gonna do this three times so i've already touched in this button once so two and three which means that when i come back i should see three messages printed okay this means that everything is working fine so then we, we are also gonna need to connect the button down uh, signal and we will have to do the exact same thing but with all of the buttons okay so for example with the down button um here we are gonna connect the button down 
and the button up as well and the same thing with these two buttons okay so this is how uh, your code should look once you have all of your signals connected also we are going to need to create another variable here which is going to be our velocity and here we are going to start modifying our velocity variable okay firstly on our up button down function we're going to modify uh, this velocity um, variable to be um, velocity dot y uh, plus equal one okay then on our uh this is gonna be sorry this is gonna be minus equal one then on our down button this is gonna be velocity dot y plus equal one then on our on left button uh, down our velocity uh, dot x will be a uh, minus equal one and then finally on our um i can't scroll down more here on the right button button down in this case and this is gonna be num, 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 velocity dot x plus equal one okay so i cannot see it okay but now yes i come once i have that i'm gonna uh, call my process function that we were talking about uh, a few moments ago and we're gonna say if uh, our velocity dot length length is greater than zero which means that if we are actually moving um we are gonna uh, set our velocity to velocity um times speed also also okay here in our velocity uh, initially we're gonna set it to vector to uh, dot zero now it's time to actually move the player in order to do this we're gonna update our um let me just scroll down a little bit so that you can actually read this we're gonna update our position and uh, to be a uh, plus equal our velocity that remember that we set our velocity in this line velocity times delta okay finally we should also normalize um the value of the velocity okay now when we start playing we can see something very weird when we click here the button well as you can see it just goes uh, to the first direction we clicked in this case i clicked firstly right and it went directly right and like it didn't come back and it just continued moving so let's fix that but well as you can see we check that the movement system works perfectly fine so here we're gonna create a, a variable can move like this that initially is gonna be set to false and we are just uh, gonna execute uh, all the things inside our delta if our can move variable is actually true okay like this and then here we are just gonna click here the tab key okay now if we play again as you can see we can't move okay because in our code we said okay if can move is equal to true we're gonna actually move the player but as you can see we've set it here to false so uh, we're gonna play let's say uh, with this variable depending on our button signals so firstly when a button is up okay it means that we stopped pressing our button 
um, what we are actually gonna do is to set the can move to false why because if we are no longer pressing our button we don't want to move our player whereas if our button is down we want to set our can move to true okay and we're gonna do this with all the functions so again here we have a down a uh, signal so as as in this signal we would be um pressing our button we're gonna set our can move to true and then here on up okay we're gonna set it to false okay now okay once we click a button as you can see it doesn't like continue in the same way but as you can see it doesn't matter like the button we press it always goes to the same direction we pressed initially okay so let's fix this and well the solution is even simpler uh that you may think and uh, we should just modify the velocity but instead of decreasing or increasing its value depending on which button we are pressing we are gonna change the value of the velocity considering this for example if and we are pressing the up button we're gonna set our velocity to vector 2 dot up vector 2 dot up okay is the exact same thing as saying vector 2 0 1 okay which means going up okay and then here on button down we do the same thing we set the velocity to vector 2 dot down then when we press the left uh, button we set it to vector 2 dot left because we want to move on the left direction and the same exact thing happens when we uh, press the right um, button so here you can take a look to how the player movement code finally ended up uh, we could for example delete here this line and also here this line this line also if you want but that's not really necessary so now when we play this is the up button as you can see if i hold it the player will continue going up uh, but it doesn't continue as it used to happen if i click here the down button it will go down here we have the right button and the left button okay and as you can see everything uh, works just fine Thanks a lot for watching, remember to like and subscribe for more content. You have the link to watch the full course in the description down below. See you!